okay. lesson 12.9. Anna uses string to help measure the worm. Is her work precise? Why or why not? Let's find out about measuring precisely. Why is Anna using string to measure the worm? The worm is not a straight line, and so the string can be used to bend along the length. What can you do to measure precisely? You can choose units and tools that will help you measure precisely. You can estimate first, choose a tool, start at zero, measure twice, write the unit. What tools can you use to measure precisely? When you write your measurements, what must you include? You can use an inch ruler, centimeter ruler, yardstick, meter stick, measuring tape, or string. You must always include the units when you write your measurements. Anna lines up the string along a ruler to measure the length. Why has Anna lined the string up along the ruler starting at zero? She knows the string is the same length as the worm. What will lining up the string tell her? The length of the worm in inches. Anna measures the worm again to check her work. Then she writes the length. How long is the worm? How do you know? Select your answer. Well, the string went along the worm and then she straightened out the string and put on a ruler and it is three inches long. The worm is about three inches long it is closest to the three inch mark on the ruler. Now you know how to use precision to measure and write units. All right, good job guys.